Welcome to this video. I am Matt, also known as the Unprofessional Hobbyist in some places. One of the guys who are involved with Wooden Spoon Wargaming. In this video we are looking at Death Ray Designs, a beautiful kit, Rapid Vanguard, and the first of the video in the set for the Barracks. What this is aimed at is to give hobbyists an idea about the kit, how it looks, how it goes together, followed by a review at the end where I'll show you what a completed kit looks like. So, let's get ready for the intro and jump straight into the, the build video. FRA Designs, an American based company who I've heard about from a very long time. I originally got this kit in their Kickstarter way back in the midst of time. And it's been sat in my cupboard ever since but now it's time to get it out get it on the table and get rocking like with most mdf kits they come in these uh sprites sprued sheets uh but these are a bit different where on other kits the details are placed onto the mdf the details are placed on this cardboard which then overlays on top of the mdf which i think gives it a lot more detail and a lot more possibilities so just quick inspection of the sheets before we get going and we are ready to rock and roll always always important with these check the instructions read twice pop out once try fit and then glue or else you'll end up gluing it upside down back to front and coming up in another video you'll see that I do exactly that I glue some stuff wrongly and it looks a bit of a mess but managed to fix it due to editing here we are with the kit you can see on the left on the right hand side of the screen now is the spurs that make the barrack walls as you can see just use PVA glue I get this from a builders merchant in five of the drums and it lasts a very long time. Little pressure applied. As you can see as well, I've got the instruction book handy to me. So always checking this to make sure it looks okay. These are very good instructions compared to other companies I've seen around. What I found with this kit is, as I built it, I couldn't really place it down. So I supported the, the top piece with an old well, it's the plastic cup that I keep my paintbrushes in. This was turned upside down, and then that gives the support and brush. What it is designed to do is to take the stress away from the legs as they're drying, which, as you can see, it works. Nice and easy. The legs go together, slotting in the perfect pre-designed holes. This kit is beautifully laid out. The attention to detail is nice, and the tolerances are spot on. Next up comes the main body part of the barracks. This is in two sections. The smaller one is the lower section. The PVA glue applied after dry fitting, of course. You don't really need too much PVA glue because uh, it will just squelch out the side. See it again. Dry fit to check. Perfectly fitted. Check the instructions. Yep. Clean a bit of PVA glue up, check again, and then put it in the right way because the second time I put it in, it was wrong. This is replicated on the other side as well. And then we are good to go with the two main doors. Again, the plastic cup is used to take away the stress of the weight of the building against itself. Two main doors time. First off, two detailed pieces, well, three detailed pieces, which are added to the top of the roof. These just cover where the ribbed spine of the barracks sit. The door is tri fitted, of course, and then PVA glued into place. So, checking the instructions again, and then next is the sign pieces. These side pieces fit on the lower section and then the upper section of the side of the building. The lower section 
is hold and it gives you a place to slot in the additional supports as I'll call them these are beautiful pieces and then the larger side pieces fill in the gaps of the ribs which form the main part of the building here we are complete checking the instructions we are at number five now these are the pieces the six pieces which form the, the lower feet as I'd say and they're quite common across the rest of the range these four pieces just slotted out cleaned up and ready to go and glued together here is a sneak peek of the bunker as you can see it looks nice the cardboard detail is brilliant on it and this the bunker is my favorite one basically so the barrack feet are put in dry fit of course and we're good to go have a quick inspection of the building at this point absolutely beautiful I'm really happy with these kits and would find some more in the future checking the instructions again it's time to place the card detail on the side of the building so let's pop this out and glue it on here we go all the pieces are ready always check the art in the instruction book or even go onto the website which is linked below in the description have a look at the other kits here we go trying time sometimes you need to come back and just give a little bit more of a push or put something weighted on top of them as you can see here this is the top piece from the roof and I just add a bit of weight using paint pots more detailed trim to the top of the spur spacer as I call it and we're good to go with the door placing the door back in I'm not sure why I took the door out in the first place maybe next time I build one of these I'll leave it in more card detail this gives you the frame around the door itself so I've always found it best to turn on its side so you're gluing to a flat surface that way if you need extra help you can just put some maybe pots of glue or whatever you have laying around I use sometimes stuff, anything that's laying around doors then put back in I'm good to go to the next stage this is just finishing off some of the trim pieces on the feet now we've got this little sections of card detail next up the windows these are just slotted into place, push gently in, and we are done cleaning with the PVA that's built. So, and here we go with our completed Defray Designs barracks. So, a little over seven inches long by about, same again, seven inches across. And let's try and get a better view of how tall it is. Quick change the camera, and it's just about five inches tall this kit was put together in about 90 minutes given it's the first time i've done one of those kits i think next time it'll be done faster absolutely beautiful kit oh wasn't quite dry completely unprofessional of me so that's it thank you very much for watching and taking time for this video of me putting together the death ray designs barracks take care and goodbye all the links to kits have been added below in the description. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a like and a sub and a comment about how you think I did.